A happy place needs to have a good food. Would you agree? If you are planning a trip to Negro and searching for the best attractions and places to eat, you are in the right place. Maybe you've seen mixed reviews and you are still not sure whether Rick's Cafe is worth visiting. Or maybe you are wondering what other local places are worth checking out. In this video, I will give you a complete and honest review of three very different dining experiences we had in Negro. And I promise at least one of them will be the place for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Top Ranking Club. My name is Natalka and today I'm taking you to Rick's Cafe. Now, I won't be able to record the audio much because there is music there. So, uh, I hope you enjoy the visuals. I hope we will enjoy it and I hope you will enjoy it. Let's see. I don't have no idea what to expect because the last time I was there was about 15 years ago. So, again, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Rick's Cafe is famous for its vibes, cliff jumping and one of the most beautiful sunset experiences. This is precisely why we decided to make our way there in early hours of the evening around 5 p.m. As you walk in, you will immediately understand why this place won the award for best beach bar. It is vibes. There were many boats in the sea that bring tourists for the ultimate Rick's excursion. People were jumping into the water, dancing by the cliffs or in the pool, having drinks and generally having great fun. So if you are looking for a party vibe in the grill, Rick's is your place. <laughs> But it might be that all this action is not what you had in mind when planning your perfect sunset dinner by the cliffs in the grill. Guys, guess what? We went to Rick's Cafe. It was packed. And it was so hot. It was so hot. Um, so we decided to leave. <laughs> and because we are hungry, we're gonna just go and check out a different place. And, you know, let's see how that goes. We will still go back to Rick's Cafe tomorrow. We promised ourselves that we will. But at this time, um, you know, six o'clock in the evening, fully packed, the sun is setting slowly and it is dripping hot. And it's hot here, but it's super hot over there. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we are gonna pass on that tonight and uh, check it out tomorrow during the day. Hopefully it won't be as hot. <laughs> Okay, so I will check in back when we get to the restaurant and um, let's see where this adventure takes us. Alright guys, so we have arrived. Uh, the restaurant is in uh, Rock House uh, Hotel. Um, it is really pretty in here, so it's, uh, it's always nice to see different accommodations in different places. I love that lush greenery guys in this place 100% so the restaurant that we go into is called Pushcart 
are in Rock House Hotel. So there you go. Let's see. So far, guys, uh, the Negril experience has been very tropical, very green, very lush. Look at that. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So the reason we are actually here is that um, we asked Carmen um, to recommend um, authentic Jamaican cuisine, uh, authentic restaurant <laughs> that serves Jamaican food. Um, so we are hopeful because we have been eating all sorts of different foods, some of it not so authentic. Oh Jesus, look at this guys. Not too shabby. <laughs> All right, hello. Hi. Good, good. How are you? Um, um, yeah, not too shabby. So, okay. Rock House Hotel is looking good. <laughs> and it's very, very coincidental for us to be here. Oh, look at this, guys. That is looking good. Oh yeah, pirate. Pushcart is a great choice if you are looking for a perfect place to chill and unwind with a classic Jamaican laid-back vibe. We've seen a whole families having a wonderful time, as well as lots of couples having romantic sunset dinner by the sea. Bob Marley and Barry's Hammond tunes were playing in the background. The service was great and the atmosphere was lovely. And honestly, I couldn't ask for more beautiful ending to the day. Now let's get to the main part, the food. I've ordered a jerk platter with festivals and plantains and each dish came with a side of steamed vegetables. Captain went for the oxtail with rice and JD went for a fried chicken with rice and peas. And guys, when I say I really enjoyed myself there, here is the proof. just came back from the pushcart restaurant it was really nice it was bites uh, we are already thinking to go back <laughs> maybe maybe tomorrow um, I couldn't really record much as you know the music was playing and it was just <laughs> really nice the food was the best we've tried in the grill as yet so that's why we're thinking of going back and overall the whole place was really nice uh, from the sunset to the food uh, to the staff to the decor so I would definitely recommend this particular restaurant for all those reasons <laughs> ticks pretty much most of the boxes <laughs> Tomorrow we will try and revisit Rick's Cafe. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll make it this time. But for now, good night.
good morning guys <laughs> today it's our second attempt to go to Rick's cafe um, it is early um, well it's not too early it's about 10 o'clock um, but um, we wanted to check it out before you know the large groups of people come um, so we can actually show you how it looks like yesterday was really hard to record anything and it was really hot it is really hot today as well but not as bad so let's see if today turns out to be a success guys when I told you that uh, the place is very close okay i really want to just show you how close it is because look this is villa surma you see these colorful um this colorful fence over here <laughs> that's already rick's cafe the entrance is just there so when i told you that it's actually just across the street it actually is it's actually just across the street how awesome is that? Hello. Hello. so <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Boys are there. And that's what I mean. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> I believe that to truly grasp the essence of a place, you have to spend some time exploring it. This is precisely why I really wanted to come back to Rick's Cafe today. Very quickly, I was reminded that timing is everything. It felt like last night and today were two totally different experiences. And that got me thinking, if you come here during the day and expect a party, you might be disappointed and vice versa. If you come in the evening hoping for a relaxing time by the cliffs, you will most likely be greeted by full-on vibes. Keep this in mind when planning your trip to Rick's Cafe. As for me, I equally enjoyed both of my experiences and here is why. All right guys, so Rick's Cafe without people is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Not that I mind the people, but I can actually see the, the beauty of the whole place. And, and you know, there's nothing like having a place. Hello, morning. There is nothing like having the whole place all to yourself. I don't know if you can hear me guys, but... <laughs> I think it's very important that I mention the color of the sea in Caribbean and specifically in Rick's Cafe. The turquoise, the all the all the shades of blue. <laughs> it's just absolutely amazing. Wow. Wow. I don't know about you, but Jamaica has this magical effect on me. All I want to do is to go with the flow, dance, laugh and have a wonderful time. Oh. 
soon the first excursion boats started arriving. People were jumping into the crystal clear Caribbean Sea and everyone was having a great time. It's really one of those sights that makes you smile. Like many places in Jamaica, Rick's Cafe is full of character. We found stunning woodwork throughout the property and as we walked around and explored, we realized that there are a different sections here to enjoy. At the edge of the cliffs, you will find what I call an Instagrammable moment with this huge picture frame stating voted best beach bar by the travel channel pretty cool if you ask me sound from the peak of the past sound to musical blast sound like a musical explosion taking on to the magical ride cause the feeling you cannot hide Did I mention that it was really hot on that day? <laughs> yes, and it was just about time to cool down. What I like about cliff jumping at Rick's is that you can choose what height you want to jump from. As for me, due to my old back injury, unfortunately, the big jumps are a no-no. But I surely enjoy the small ones. All right, I'm doing it. I'm gonna jump from the low and then maybe slightly higher. I'm not sure yet. All right, ready? I think so. There's fish in there. All right. Three, two. Am I jumping? Let me just see. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. I jumped. Oh my god. Really good. If cliff jumping is not your thing, you can relax by the pool, rent a cabana, grab drinks and food from the restaurant, and most of all, enjoy the views while listening to some reggae beats. Guys, we just came out of Rick's Cafe and I must say it was so nice Honestly, I recommend you coming in the morning. Okay. Yes, the vibes are on in the evening So if you want to shake your booty a little bit <laughs> If you want to have a little dance definitely evening uh, Music is on right now. That's why I couldn't record any audio uh, in there, but guys it was really really nice so when it comes to Rick's Cafe guys 
I would 100% recommend you coming early morning. You will have majority of the place to yourself. Uh, weekday especially, awesome. Um, the music is still on if you want to dance, absolutely fine. Obviously, if you want to catch a party, then you will have to come in the evening. But for us, we are more into, you know, the water, the beauty of the place, um, you know, enjoying the pool that's there, you know, having a little drink and uh, not necessarily um, party type. <laughs> you know we're not necessarily the party type so yeah and yeah guess what we are back at our villa <laughs> as I said Villa Summer honestly guys that's the place to book if you want to um, enjoy Rick's Cafe on a daily basis pretty much all right so we are back here now and I was checking uh, when we're on our way to eat breakfast guess what we not even had the breakfast <laughs> All right, guys, we are here now. We are at our local restaurant. We're gonna have breakfast finally. Um, we are literally next door to Rick's Cafe. As you can see over here, you might actually see the flag, um, but we are super hungry. So we will have something to eat. Um, they do serve um, Jamaican breakfast and American breakfast. So I'm happy with that. And at this point, I would like to say if you enjoyed our video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet and you do like our content, please subscribe. We have so many beautiful places lined up for you. Um, a lot of them very, very happy places. So definitely subscribe. You might have seen this restaurant in our previous video. If not, I will leave the link in the description for you. LTU had the most charm out of the three cliff restaurants. It had a unique and quirky decor and honestly, there was a really good vibe in the air. I think LTU is a great place to catch up with friends or have a game of dominoes. It is one of those places that make you feel welcomed and at home. Not to mention the views. I would recommend it at any time of the day. Although breakfast was my absolute favorite. Out of all the restaurants we have visited in the grill, these three have really made a huge impact on us, each for a different reason. Rick's Cafe had the most action, most facilities, most party vibes and generally most going on. It's a perfect spot for you to let your hair down and really have some fun. LTU was quite an opposite. It was very chilled, very casual and had the most relaxing atmosphere. Pushcart, hands down, had the best food and a perfect balance between vibes and ambience. You can dress up or keep it cool. Either way, as soon as you walk in, you will feel like every little thing is going to be alright. Oh, and just one more thing before we go. I would like to leave you with this beautiful view, guys. Beautiful Negril cliffs. Check it out. I hope this video will help you decide where to book your dinner at the cliffy side of Negro and that I've painted a clearer picture of what to expect. As always, thank you so much for watching, happy travels and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now!